All right, welcome to part three, the flow protocol supercharged with red light therapy. Hopefully you've been following along and you've seen the intro and then part one and part two. And so with this webinar, we're gonna do our deep dive into the solution and why the heck we're so confident that we back it up with a guarantee of results. Okay, so what we will cover today will be red light therapy. We're gonna do a deep dive into the science of red light therapy. We're gonna talk about that science-backed solution to obesity and you watched and learned in part two about insulin and how that wrecks things and so we're going to get into how we can lower those insulin levels and then we're going to talk about the coaching system which is very crucial to help you implement these lifestyle changes and then we're going to get into putting it all together so that you can finish this program and finally once and for all maintain your weight for the rest of your life let's dive right in okay so red light therapy we have known culturally, and if you look at some of our older societies, we've always observed an improvement in health in the presence of sunlight, or the decrease in health when we lose sunlight. Just look at the areas and the parts of the world where they go through very long winters, and they have sometimes even areas where there's no sunlight, but even areas where there's less sunlight. We know that we have higher levels of depression, and more weight gain, more difficulty losing weight. So we know that it plays crucial roles in our health. So specifically, light can be broken down, sunlight can be broken down into multiple different types of light, but what we are most concerned about is red light. And red light being infrared and near infrared wavelengths, and what science has proven that these types of light at these wavelengths that actually give us the amazing health benefits and the addition and aids to our weight loss. So within our cells, we have these little things called mitochondria. So mitochondria, think of those like the batteries of your cells and our body consists of trillions of cells. And so those batteries are the things that literally fuel us. So the food that we consume, it's broken down into substrates, the smallest areas, the smallest molecules that can be then enter that little process that we probably remember called the electron transport chain, and then out comes ATP. So the mitochondria is responsible for producing the very energy that we need to live. And what red light therapy does is it stimulates this process, it increases that process, and the net effect of that with weight loss and fat loss is it literally forces the cells to start dumping out the fat contents into the bloodstream. Something that we all want because we call that mobilization of fat. And one of the roadblocks at the beginning of most people's weight loss journey is the inability for their body to do that. They're not fat adapted. They're very metabolically inflexible. And you learned all about that in my Science of, of Obesity Part 2 webinar. So what I like to call red light therapy is artificially induced metabolic flexibility. So it just jump starts it so that when we pair it up with the lifestyle of fasting, which we're about to talk about here in a little bit, you see where I'm going with this. The combination of both is very magical and that's why our results have been so freaking amazing. Okay, so we can even look at the science to back up these benefits. There was a clinical trial in the Journal of Lasers in Surgery and Medicine. Specifically, the title of this journal is The Application of Low Laser Therapy for Non-Evasive Body Contouring. And look at these results, three to five inches cumulatively across the waist, hips, and thighs. That's real inches lost. That's not just fluid and displacement, but actual fat loss. Guys, so lasers are the real deal. Red light therapy specifically is the real deal. And it's important to understand some components that we're gonna teach you when you come into the clinic as well. But after each session, we gotta get the body moving because the contents, the fat is dumped into the bloodstream, the lymphatic system carries that around. So vibration therapy is going to be key. And we're gonna have you hop onto the vibration plate after each session. Hydration is also very important. Like you haven't had enough reasons to freaking drink water. Now you have even more important, very, very important to stay hydrated during your red light therapy, during the whole time of your weight loss program. And then finally, of course, what we are going to do is fast. We wanna come into the session with more of an empty stomach. And we wanna leave each session not immediately eating because now that fat is ready to be consumed by your body and be burned off. And if you consume a meal right away, you, you kind of negate some of that effect. 
doesn't just stop there though. There is even more benefits of red light therapy to your health. My second favorite perk of this therapy is what it does to loose skin. We're all concerned about loose skin starting to develop after weight loss. And so there are some key hormones that regulate this collagen synthesis, elastin formation. It's look, it's not going to prevent loose skin from dramatic weight loss, but it's going to significantly help. And that's crucial. And then guess what else helps loose skin? The fasting, which we're about to talk about shortly. Very, very awesome. Then we have increases of energy. We have increases of healing. One of my favorite things is when the patients hop up from the bed after red light therapy and they talk about how much their pain has decreased, even though that's not even why they're there. Red light therapy is awesome, guys, and you're going to enjoy a lot of benefits in addition to more importantly, sustainable weight loss. Okay, so we're going to start with prolonged fasting, the super hidden secret. This is hands down the most powerful way of lowering chronically elevated insulin levels. And we have to remember that one of the main reasons why insulin levels are elevated is because of insulin resistance. So what is prolonged fasting? Well, prolonged fasting is anything that's defined as past 24 hours of fasting. There really is no solid textbook definition. Anything more than 18, 24 hours is prolonged in my books. And what I like, what most of my patients utilize in the flow protocol is somewhere around 48 hours every single week. That is flow fasting for the flow protocol is fasting somewhere around 48 hours every single week. Now, essentially you might have heard of intermittent fasting, which is that daily the most common program is 16-8 where you're fasting, like skipping breakfast and your eating window for the day shortens to about eight hours. Well, this is taking it to a whole nother level. I like to think of it as intermittent fasting on steroids. And I can tell you the results are that much more powerful incrementally speaking, right? In other words, people are getting results on intermittent fasting. They have no idea what's available to them because most people haven't even tapped into prolonged fasting. Remember guys, I created this protocol over my, this has been my last 10 years working with patients. There still is no other program in the world that has any type of structured approach towards regular rounds of prolonged fasting. Okay, so we are gonna heal the insulin resistance. The insulin resistance is your body's inability to respond to insulin. Insulin is not able to do its job, and so therefore the body has to increase levels of insulin, but insulin is going to be a huge roadblock. In fact, that is hands down the most important thing to do. There are quite a few other things that we need to do to be successful in sustainable weight loss, but getting the insulin levels down is very important. And so prolonged fasting is the most powerful intervention for addressing insulin levels and healing insulin resistance, because we just talked about the mechanisms of what led to the resistance to begin with, which is the elevated insulin levels. Well, insulin is released from consuming food, specifically carbohydrates and protein. So if you are not eating, you are not releasing insulin. And the only thing stronger than not eating in terms of not releasing insulin would be not eating over a longer period of time. And you see where I'm going with this. So most powerful intervention there is for addressing insulin resistance head on, but it doesn't just stop there. We also have to talk about metabolic flexibility, which we learned about earlier is the metabolism's ability to alternate fuel sources. When you go through periods of not eating, your body is metabolically inflexible in the beginning because you've never challenged those systems in your body. And so your body doesn't have the really the know-how it's never challenged the systems that are required to be able to provide the fuel that you need to sustain consistent energy levels. And ultimately, the more flexible you are, the faster your body can get into that ketogenic state where it's producing ketone bodies, which is essentially mobilizing and processing your body fat. So prolonged fasting is going to really turn on the gears and get you very metabolically flexible. Finally, reducing inflammation. Inflammation is almost as bad as insulin levels. In their own ways, they can inhibit the mobilization of fat and really put a damper to our ability to lose weight successfully. And because of a magical process called cellular autophagy, cellular autophagy is the survival mechanism that the body goes through 
in reaction to not eating, specifically not eating the proteins which contain the essential amino acids that our body needs to be able to heal the tissues. And so what it does is on a cellular level, it begins to break down non-essential tissues so that it can get some amino acids that it needs to feed the more essential tissues. This is a very healing, cleansing, and anti-inflammatory process. I personally know from the last decade working with patients well beyond just the weight loss realm, but also helping them modulate their immune systems, calming down the inflammatory processes that was driving all sorts of various issues that would come into my clinic. Okay, so it's not just prolonged fasting, although that is the most important, we got a other, couple other key strategies that we're going to help you implement as well. The first thing is cycling your ketogenic approach. Now, ketogenic diet is very, very powerful, but long-term, it's not sustainable for most people, including yours truly. I could not live a pure ketogenic lifestyle, but I cycle it very often, and so do my patients. And so this is where the coaching comes into play, which we're gonna talk about shortly, so that we can modify it and figure out what works best for you. But essentially, the ability to go through periods of time where you are on keto versus not is going to be very effective for us to be able to implement the flow protocol with ease. The other thing is we need to teach you and help you to control cortisol levels. Cortisol is another hormone that is very, very powerful in terms of your ability to either lose weight or not. And there's some key strategies that we're gonna help you implement to lower those cortisol levels as well. And again, it's gonna be individual based. Then finally, understanding the difference between the insulin and the glycemic index. Most diabetics are taught about the glycemic index and health conscious people too as well because what we know, and the glycemic index is the measure of, of blood sugar when eating certain foods, is we can predict how much insulin is gonna be produced. And yes, in most cases, that is true. But for a lot of foods, this is why the insulin index is so important that they are not actually going to cause a blood sugar rise, but still cause a great deal of insulin secretion. A lot of fruits and some dairy products actually make that list, right? So this is where the coaching comes into play. And let's dive right into it, folks. Flow coaching. Flow coaching is what I have year by year continued to modify and figure out and establish what is the most successful format for coaching a larger audience of patients successfully? Remember, we guarantee results, and this is what flow coaching just is. So when you enroll the program, we're gonna send you the getting started guide. We call it the welcome to the weight loss form. That form is gonna have the necessary videos and the necessary steps for you to be able to get started successfully. That's the requirement. It's about four to six hours or so of study time. Then you can roll into the intro coaching Zoom call. We cap this out at five, so it's very personal, but it's still an opportunity to establish a better sense of the community that, that we're developing here. My flow warriors and my flow practitioners are the different sort of patient programs that we work with. And so it's really awesome on that Zoom to establish that, that community sense as well. But more importantly, this is where we customize things for you guys. So number one, a lot of patients will come to us in some sort of metabolic plateau where they're eating less than they know they should be. Something's wonky and off. So we're gonna help you reset your metabolism. Just for example, if you need to, we're gonna talk fasting, the stages of fasting. We're gonna talk diet, supplements, workouts, and most importantly, the appetite suppressing supplements that are gonna help you be successful in implementing the flow protocol. So think of that as your customization Zoom. After that, we transition you into the group. And the group coaching is, is awesome because it's a private group. We do one coaching call per week and you get the opportunity to submit your desired topics. Then the agenda is posted the day before, and then you, let's say you can't make it. I do a revolving schedule. I'll catch a Saturday morning sometimes too as well. Every single coaching call is fully recorded and you can access it later. So that way, week by week, you're getting to get your questions answered and you can catch it on the recording. The group format, we're gonna talk about things like how it works, the questions, the agendas, everything is gonna be there for you. And also the community, right? Being part of this community is awesome, uh, especially for my international folks now. We really are growing something special here and the community has been nothing short of amazing for me to be able to see the kind of reach we've been able to obtain. 
So after that, we also provide you with the Flow Hotline. The Flow Hotline is a text only, but this is where you can ask any questions, any issues, any concerns throughout your program that you're not able to address during the Facebook coaching. Maybe you hit a plateau or a roadblock, and so my team will get you scheduled on a Zoom with me so that we can dive into it and fix that plateau. You're in a coaching program, guys, and so we guarantee the results for you, and that's why you're gonna be able to have ability and align to be able to text. So we call it the Flow Hotline. The accountability system is great. The accountability system is where you can submit your weekly weigh-ins so that I'm able to track exactly your progress throughout the program. If we need to jump on a call, if you're hitting a plateau, these numbers are important for us to be able to debug it when those issues arise. Maximizing your health. This doesn't just start and end with weight loss. In order for us to get you to be able to sustain your weight for the rest of your life, we need to make other changes besides the insulin, like we talked about, the inflammation is, too, is, is important too as well. So we're gonna coach and provide coaching opportunities for all aspects of health. And so you really can maximize your coaching in that format to be able to learn just how the basic tenets of optimal health should look now that we're helping you address the weight issues. Flow University, this is super cool. So in addition to having access to every single training, because if you wanna catch the whole thing and be fully involved, I have a ton of patients that are extremely busy and their time is precious. And so maybe they have a good understanding of a lot of aspects, but they just wanna get their questions answered. And so Flow University is a teachable account where there's gonna be a nice, clean, organized table of contents. And so you'll be able to access the individual questions that were asked. So maybe your questions, maybe you see some other questions that you're like, oh, I didn't think about that. You'll be able to watch just what you need to watch. So that is awesome. And then finally, we're going to help you transition into the flow lifestyle. And the flow lifestyle we're gonna talk about shortly, that's what it looks like on the other side of this program. That's gonna be what it looks like for you to maintain your weight for the rest of your life. Okay, so now let's put it all together, guys, into this wildly successful program, Flow Lifestyle. So I like to use this analogy of where you're at right now. So you're like a kid that's about to jump on this bicycle and take this journey. So you, you're at the starting point, you need to lose, say, about 50, maybe 100 pounds, and at that end goal, is when you can begin to live the lifestyle of maintenance. And maybe you've done that all the time in the past, or maybe you've done that a couple percentages on the way and slipped up and couldn't establish what was necessary for you to be able to maintain and you, and you slipped back. So think of my program like the training wheels. We're gonna help you get to that destination so that when we rip off the training wheels, you will be stable and able to ride a smooth maintenance flow lifestyle. And the reason why we have the training wheels, that's the coaching and the implementation of those strategies that we talked about earlier that help you control those insulin levels in a format that's doable. It's not gonna be dependent on a bunch of exercise. It's not gonna be dependent on strict diets. <laughs> that's one of my favorite things to, that when I work with my patients, is like you don't have to diet so hard and you don't have to exercise so much. In fact, I don't want you to do that because I get my patients the results that they're looking for with less exercise and less intensity on the diet. And that's part of what makes it sustainable just because they can adhere to that. But more importantly, when it comes to their body and physiologically speaking, it's those changes we made to the metabolic flexibility, the insulin resistance and the inflammation that are what allows the body to be stable in the future. Literally, the flow lifestyle is We've been taking this, this, this approach, right? The flow protocol, we've been fasting, say on average 48 hours every single week. So what we're gonna do on the lifestyle is we're gonna decrease the frequency and you're gonna find a rhythm, you're gonna find a balance. I would say on average a 48 hour fast uh, once every one to four weeks or maybe even a 72 hour fast once every say two to six weeks. And that's a very wide range because everybody's life is gonna be different. You are gonna change yourself individually month to month. You're gonna have better months where you are eating better and exercising better and stress levels are controlled and then you're gonna have months where you fall off the bandwagon. But what's gonna be different now is you're gonna be able to get yourself back onto that horse and literally just fast that weight off that you gained because of whatever reason why you fell off the horse to begin with and get back to a lifestyle of stability. You couldn't do that before because before you were so dependent on strict diets and a lot of exercise, this is very different. 
this is not gonna require that to be able to jump back. It's just gonna be maybe a week or two of fasting again, and then get right back into the lifestyle of less frequent fasting. And we're gonna help you with our coaching system in this program to ensure that you are stable. Once you get to that point, we do have a separate community called Flow Lifestyle, which is where our patients are hanging out. It's an awesome community. I jump on two webinars with them, live trainings a month, just to stay connected and help them continue to live a flow lifestyle, which is what I'm telling you guys is going to be the easiest format for you to be able to maintain your weight for the rest of your life. Okay, so what's next? Hopefully, since you watched the end of part three, you saw part one and you saw part two. If you haven't, I strongly recommend that you understand part one, how we got here, and part two, the science of obesity and insulin resistance, and you're waiting for your phone call with one of my health coaches, please make sure you have all your questions ready so that my coach can be successful in answering all your questions and potentially enrolling you into a very powerful program. And I look forward to working with you guys. Thank you.